Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous videos, I already discussed in detail how you can schedule a particular SQL query execution or stored procedure execution using Snowflake's task feature, right? And now in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can create dependencies in between different tasks, okay? And create a task tree. So what is that? Let me discuss first. So suppose you want to build one ETL pipeline or ELT pipeline or some data engineering architecture where you have already created one task which will perform certain SQL execution and if that task is successful then only other tasks like task B or task C should be triggered and if task B, task C etc are successful then only their child D, E, F and GH should be triggered like that you want to create some dependencies right if that is the requirement then how to handle that scenario that's what I am going to discuss okay so already in my previous video while creating tasks I have shown you how to create tasks using non corn job we can use the keyword schedule and then we can specify with what time interval in minutes it will be triggered right so keep in mind this thing that this particular scheduling interval you can only specify for this root task okay not for any child task right so if you see task b here you cannot say that it should run with 5 minutes or 6 minutes or 20 minutes interval it will be triggered when this particular root task will be successful okay like that it will go and in root task you can specify with what time interval it will be triggered so once root task getting triggered with a period interval if it is successful it will trigger task b and task c which is task is child task like that it will go okay and one more thing to remember a parent might have multiple childs but one particular child uh, cannot have multiple parent like like if you consider task d it cannot have task b as parent and task a or some other task as parent for a particular child only one parent will be there but for a particular parent multiple childs can be there like what the picture is showing us right now let's discuss how we can create this kind of task tree very easy i will be going through the code one by one so if you see drop database if exist ramu so first we are dropping a ramu database then we are creating a ramu database then we are using that ramu database then here we are basically creating a table which is having the name video demo and which is having ID as first column which is having integer data type it is kind of auto increment it the value will start from 1 and it will keep on increase by value 1 and then name is the second column which is having the default value as demo YouTube which is a string type that's why I have specified the data type as character 40 and the last column is create date which is something timestamp column okay that is date along with time it will be keeping or it will be storing okay right now here we are creating another table okay which is basically video demo child okay so here we are taking same column but here we are not putting the features like default value auto increment etc etc just simple ddl we are uh, giving and here we are creating this child table okay right and then here we have basically created one stored procedure so what the stored procedure will do the stored procedure will insert the current timestamp in the create date column in the video demo table okay that is in this particular table in this create date column basically it will insert the current timestamp and raise two columns id and name will be automatically populated in this video demo table as for our ddl right okay now what we are doing we have basically created one task okay so this is you can consider as root task so as you know that to create a task we need to specify warehouse then scheduling interval and then we are calling this code procedure which we created here so basically with each one minute interval this particular task will execute this particular stored procedure which will insert one new record in our video demo root table okay that is our root table okay right so now here if you see that if I so if I execute so task here you will see that here this is basically insert data with one minute interval okay this is the our root task and it is currently in started state not in uh, suspend state so basically at the beginning when you are creating a task that time you need to resume that particular task right otherwise it will be in suspend state 
Now if I execute select star from video demo, you will see that currently it is having 47 rows inserted. Okay, so task is executing with each one minute interval it is executing and here it is keep on basically inserting records in our root table. Okay, then here what we are doing here we are creating another child task. Okay, and this is the way how you can create child task. As I have told you, you cannot specify scheduling interval in child task, only dependencies you can set. So create or replace task, insert data with one minute interval in child. So this is the child task name, okay, warehouse name we are specifying. And then see here we are setting the dependencies after insert data with one minute interval. So insert data with one minute interval is our parent. So once the parent is successful, then only this child should be executed. That's how we are defining here. And what this particular task should do, it should execute this particular query. That is insert into video demo child, select star from video demo. Okay, that is whatever in our video demo table data is available, that should be copied to video demo child. Like that it will go. Okay, right. So before executing any child task DDL, make sure you are suspending the root task. Okay. So that's why first I have to execute alter task, our root task suspend. Okay. So once I suspend that, then only I can basically apply some DDL on our this particular child task. Okay. So see our child task is successfully created. So when our child task is successfully created, if I just do here, so task, you will see that here currently two tasks are present. One is insert data with one minute interval, which is basically our uh, parent task or root task and then it is having one child okay if you see here that here dependencies it is set set with predecessor if you see our parent is having no predecessor because this is root but this particular second that is child task is having a predecessor that is when this particular task root task will be successful then only the child task will be invoked okay that is this particular insert data with one minute interval will be successful then only our child task will be invoked okay and currently both are in suspend state right okay so now you need to remember this one executing ddl command that is alter or any create statement all these ddl commands on any task in a tree of tasks require that root task is suspended if the root task is currently resumed then command returns an user error that's why before applying the create statement for our child task i suspended the root task so currently both are suspended now i need to resume that so to resume the task first you resume the child task because that is an alter statement which is in ddl first you start your child task then only start the root task okay otherwise it will throw error right so always execute all the details of child task first keeping our root as suspended then at the end you start your root task okay so basically what i can do here here I can execute first alter task our child task resume okay so here child task I can write resume so our child task is re resumed and then we can resume our parent task also so see parent task is successfully executed so if I show you that currently in my this particular parent table how many records are present in my parent table 49 records are present and in child table how much records are present in child table no records are present so what will happen after one minute in from in parent table basically one record will be inserted which will be having 50 records then all these 50 records will be copied to our child table then next time in our parent table one more record will be inserted which will be 51 records and in child table all the 51 records will be inserted so it will the child table will be having 51 plus 50 records after second minute okay like that it will go because each time we are copying the complete data from parent to child right so if i execute so see currently it is having 49 rows soon within one minute our parent task will be successful okay so let us wait for that. So it is running. So see, currently 
my parent table is having 50 rows so let us check whether in child table it is reaching or not see child table is also having 50 rows then when one more minute will over then in parent table basically one more row will be inserted it will be having 51 rows and in child table all these 51 rows from parent table will be inserted so child table will be having 101 rows 50 plus 51 okay so let us wait for one minute So see, in our parent table, one new row inserted. Now it is having 51. So all these 51 rows should be copied to our child table also. So the earlier child table has 50 records. Currently new 51 will be inserted. So total in child table, 101 rows are there. Like that it will go. Okay. So this is something how we can set up the dependencies. I hope you are getting it. Just in child task definition, you need to use that what is the parent task. That is after this particular task is getting successful status then only this particular child task should be triggered like that and here you cannot specify like uh, ac hed ule schedule okay uh, one minute okay like something here you cannot do that only this can be used for root task and then for other child tasks you can only set up the dependencies okay so once the root will be triggered it will be successful then successively it will execute the whole branch throughout the tree Okay, so I hope you have understood this. The complete code I'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.